Hello everybody, this is Dreaming We're back for more Hogwarts Legacy. And we are about to talk to Poppy, so we're picking up where we left off from the last session. And we'll see what our sweet little Miss Poppy Sweetin has to say for waiting, us. To did us. I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks Ooh, as if she forgot to send did it. She, know? she didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps Ooh. she's busy with her research. Sounds sus. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last I mean, it makes week she sense. was studying leg knots in Plimpies. Plimpies, eh? What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. Wow, what we really do look alike, don't we? <laughs> I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. You can track a dragon? How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Like, uh, I suppose. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. Well, I hope you're right. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Mommy's not happy. Right, to the dragon egg. Here we are. Ooh. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect Aha. it's how the poachers found her Territory. to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. I mean, you got it's all a dragon. of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Hmm. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her. You egg. say that as if you're one of them. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which I mean, we could just send her a text garden. message and say, it Mama Dragon, we got a big purple egg. If you don't come and get it, it's going to be an omelette. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should She's going to view us as food anyway. Do you see what she did to that poacher? Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Well, I'm ready now. Find the dragon's nest, eh? Oh, this is going to be fun. We're going to get killed by a dragon. All right, let's go, Poppy. Uh-oh, I hear it already. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Well, that's good news. Just gotta get to her. I mean, can't we just use disillusionment here? Uh oh, she's searching for us. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. I bet she was. <sighs> for what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Must be a blind dragon then. She's looking right at us. Until we've done what we came to do. Yeah, come on, Poppy, keep up. Oh, got mongrels. Well, this shouldn't be too tough. Imperio! Oh, I'll keep him busy. Oh, it's a Chinese chomping cabbage. Well, I have to say, I like her fighting style. It's very unique compared to Natty in, in comparison to the other characters you uh, battle with. The fact that she uses the uh, cabbages. Very unique fighting style, Poppy. Very unique. Revenia. Ooh, it's a chest. What have we got in here? Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Right, let's move on. This dragon ain't gonna... This dragon ain't gonna get his own their own egg, is she? Repair. We have to give it to her. Fantastic. Oh, there she is again. She's breathtaking. Yeah, from, from a distance. distance. Do, 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 do. If 
find the dragon's nest. Revelio. Do, 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 do. Hmm, I wonder how good her <coughs> eyesight is. Oh, bless me. Sorry I beg that. your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. Of course and not. From a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. Satisfying. How lucky for us. It's like it is literally like how to train your dragon. And very dragons eat sheep. <laughs> Watch your step. <sighs> Wee. Come on, Poppy, you slow poke. Get your butt down here. Oh, so I guess. Like a samurai. Ninja. Revelia, pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Oh, or just wow. raring for a fight. Must be desperate to kill one of those things. Look at that. It's an absolute brute. Ooh, got a sorcerer hat. It's not very good, but we'll take it. Uh oh, something big's gonna happen. Well, we found the dragon. The big one. Hello, buddy. We've come to deliver your egg to you. Oh, bugger. He's firing, he's firing us. Oh, no. Please say we don't have to fight it. Okay, so the sooner we just gotta sneak up to it without getting splattered. And if we do get hit, we probably die instantly. <laughs> no wiggle wool potion will heal us there. Push, push, push. Alright. No, not Rebellio. Okay, I think we got past it. Yes, come on, chop, chop, poppy. Watch out, it's her domain. So make sure we know it. Yeah, it is her domain. And she has already made us know she She has already made sure we know it. But I'm not gonna back there. No, she's not. At this point, I'm just tempted to whip out the egg and say, look, have this egg, take it, go, bugger off, have a nice life. Alright, getting closer. Here, see a dragon. Definitely a hostile. I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. I'd normally try, oh my god, look at her head! <laughs> her head's literally sticking up. It's asking to get blasted off. Uh... Hey, this is your idea, Poppy. You wanna back down? You can be my guest. This is your idea. Get that opening below. I mean, this dragon must be really dumb. As soon as we get past, it could literally swoop down and just... Oh! Look, I'm <laughs> Close to getting scorched, that is. She's leaving. Quickly. Wait, she's buggered off? Wait, she just give up? Some dragon she is. Ooh, we're getting close. Oh, can't confringle that. Mine. Oh, we're gonna go across this bridge. Oh, another Why bridge for me to repair the looks of it. Anytime you like to help Poppy, but I'd appreciate it. I really would. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. And if she kills us, Poppy, <laughs> that's on you. The wizarding world will crumble because of you. And your fetish for dragons. Uh oh, here we go. Please be friendly. Oh!
Oh dear. No, Poppy! No! Oh! Um, careful, Poppy. Oh, it's got like Indominus Rex teeth. Oh, she's gonna touch it. She just has to touch it. Oh, she don't want to be touched. Oh, she got her egg back. Yes, fuck you, insignificant human. Bye. <laughs> that was intense. We almost got blown away by a dragon. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Yeah, but we... Well, not my, uh, not my underwear. She didn't did. leave that unharmed. She did try to kill us the entire time. Only until she saw her egg. At which point I thought she rather warmed to us. Yeah, okay. The important thing Lunatic. is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Then why do you stay in the castle, then? We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. Yeah, it was fun. True. Fun, fun so times amongst friends. Us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Wait. Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Uh, oh, oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. They're going after Granny. Well, at least I think they are. I've been so blind. Uh-oh, I think Granny's in trouble. Hey, we did it. Poached egg. Right, now that that's done. All right, yes, editing You're stranger here. here. Good. Yes, it's, ha it's happened again. Is My microphone Mr. decided to die so. midway recording this session, which sucks. Hello. So this upcoming, yes, I know Nancy, I know Nancy, I know. I'm just letting the viewers know that my beautiful commentary will be oh non-existent God, for this next gone. part. Are you but right? it is quite integral to the story, so We're I will keep it in. Mr. Bickle, so yeah, husband. hope you enjoy. <laughs> is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but... Could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing. So he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. Where are you, Archie? <laughs> when I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. 
This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickel mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickel! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. <coughs> Wolves! Prepare for a fight. Look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for Rebellion. pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Revelio. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My Rebellion. father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. It is as I... I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Revelia. Hush, 
snap. It happened, do you? Of course he did. Why else would he have run? He's just a child. We should release him. Harlan will decide what to do with him once he gets back. Archie Bickle, how do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Revelio. A man called Harlow. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Oh, Archie, you're here! Oh, oh you're safe. Mother, oh, mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. 
Thank you for your help today.